hello bo baby and welcome back to my channel if you are new here please please don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the family and if you are returning sabi thank you so much and welcome back so today's video we are going to have a girl chat you know and you guys gave me some very interesting topics actually to touch on in this video so the first topic that i found rather you know interesting and broad and that i could talk about was you know energy different energies you know cleansing your own energy and just being wholesome so i found that rather interesting and the first thing that i could say is always protect your energy that's number one always protect your energy and always recharge your energy we are zizwa as wuntu sometimes when you're feeling a bit off balance and take the time off you know don't force situations don't force things and by that i mean like maybe if you want to go out or you had plans on going out with your friends maybe on friday and it's it's a wednesday and you're feeling like oh these women like your energy is not in the right place it's not balanced but you know you're thinking let me just go out but at the same time you can feel what you know man like something is just shaky my energy is just a bit off balance please listen to your gut number one and your energy energy speaks volumes because you could be avoiding so much by not going to that place at that time you like you never know a lot could go wrong and a lot that is avoidable could happen so always recharge your energies and how you do that intense sticks scented candles that's what i use incense sticks scented candles great way to balance your energy and then bath with um ikhrof salt that definitely soak in a bath of salt recharge read a book pray manifest you know just make sure Uti, you are in the right space you are in the right energy and also feeding off other people's energies if something is off or if something feels off it's off and that's on period if something feels off it is off whether you like it or not so if you're around people that i'm a person who i read the room and i feed off different types of energies and different types of people and i'm very selective with who i want around me and who i'm around personally because i'm not gonna be around anyone that's fucking with my energy or just making me off balance so be mindful of that do not put yourself in situations where we are forced that every time you're around this person we are this booty like you're a bit off or this person like there's just something listen to that feeling and don't allow those different energies to fuck with yours and that's on period so um i saw there's a lady that i follow ooh, snowflake mosa she's very in tune she's like um she's a chakra hand but that's not something i know broadly about but it's something that i would like to you know broaden my knowledge about and start being you know a chakra hand in terms of crystals my rose quartz, Nama, Tiger's Eye, you know, apparently those have um, great, great, great effects on your energies and, you know, just making you feel and be in a better place and in a better space and just balance in your life. So I want to actually find out more about that. And I find it very interesting, like, 
the way it, it it affects your energy in such a positive way you know i'd really like to get to know more about that but yeah those are ways in which you can protect your energy avoid certain things and situations that may put your energy off balance and, and besides all of that there's so many things that can you know mess with your energies or put you off balance you know just life itself this whole pandemic Avanya, it's school work issues overworking yourself there's so many things and it's very important especially in the world that we live in to constantly recharge and regroup no man i'm kind of you know falling off balance and you're just exhausted it's very important to recharge uh the next topic would be looking good on a budget um oh like guys there's so many there's so many ways to look good on a budget everything is not about high-end um zara like don't break your back don't break your parents back especially if you're a student don't do that to yourself please because the people that you're trying to impress do not care they do not care when they see your picture life goes on you know you are the one that's gonna end up broke at the end of the day breaking your back trying to impress people that do nothing for you so please by all costs avoid that please do not live to impress other people and break your back and prove a point you have no one to prove anything to but yourself literally so always keep that in mind before anything so there's a lot of ways guys you don't always have to um buy expensive to look good uh the one thing that i always say is that you cannot buy a class it's either you have it or you don't and by that i mean you can have all the money in the world but if you don't know how to piece things together and you know there's just that little touch of elegance that is needed it does not necessarily mean Ubuti, because you have money you are an elegant person you are a classy person you you know how to there's people with money that will wear gucci from head to toe but it looks horrible Natinji. hit and run it looks like a hit and run because of the way but going a corner you know so looking good doesn't necessarily mean that you have to buy high-end things and you know you can mr price guys can i mr price can i the figs you know there's a lot of, of of shops that um have really nice outfits and if you're a person that doesn't mind going into town there's beautiful things in town and a china mall there's um shops there that sell clothes and all of that so you can get some things from there even what is this she in you know you can save up and then was a good team in two months time i'm gonna fill my cart and i'm gonna buy this or by the end of the month you know really affordable things you don't always have to be shopping at zara buying high-end things as, as well as with makeup there's drugstore makeup that you can use really good quality drugstore makeup um connelly foundation yeah maybelline the fit me there's um l'oreal there's revlon you know you can always save up and look good in your drugstore makeup there's no such thing with you have to buy mac estilora Dior. no don't pressurize yourself start with what you can afford start with what you can afford you know um la girl there's a lot I, I still use those products even now there's always ways to look good um on a budget and with lashes guys there's china mall lashes you can go to china mall there's lashes there for like 30 rand really 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 good quality lashes mink lashes um eyeshadow palettes if you're running on a budget even um guma drugstore there's palettes that are very there's palettes that are very affordable 
that you can use and moving on to hair guys if you are able to afford um high-end hair or you know um i'm about 12a it's fine but if you know Uguti, that's not really um what your budget is looking like and at that moment there's nothing wrong with braids braids are beautiful there are girls that are rocking braids basil rockella i'm a braise basil rockella i'm a cornrows and it looks good on them so there's absolutely nothing wrong doing braids doing cornrows or even you know if you're on a budget and you you want a nice bob wig dragon city guys go to dragon city you will find really good hair at an affordable price so this dragon city you know to get really good really nice wigs if you're on a budget um but you need to have sort of like an eye for good hair so that you can spot the different but there are different grades so definitely you can get a good quality wig or even on aliexpress there's stores on aliexpress that you know are very affordable i'm a bob wig well my 900 you know it's not that bad you can shop around there look and but always make sure that you check the reviews before you buy anything make sure you check the reviews and the um if anyone in south africa has bought and the quality of the hair that's where you'll you'll see the truth about it and then finally um i'm going to talk about self-care and my personal tips and tricks guys wanyana kuhlapa number one wanyana kuhlapa and you can never go wrong with bathing gashi with normal soap face wash you know you don't always have to be using too much because um people's skins um differ as fun so so our skin as funny as a band to other people can literally use vaseline sunlight for their skin and they will have a natural glow you know and their skin will be top tier and then there's other people that have to use toners exfoliators you know a lot of things just to get their skin to um kind of cooperate and look good so know um the type of skin that you have you don't always have to do uh, the bombastic on your face and on your skin use what works for you if simple soap and water works for you then use that it's it's like your vagina some people's vaginas um you know vaginal soaps um assist them and maybe with odor if they have a problem with odor abanye just plain water washing your coochie with plain water helps them so also know know yourself and you'll be good to go but always make sure you are fresh you are clean you um have shaved you know you smell good and smelling good doesn't necessarily mean i'm a perfume or scented um uh body lotions and all of those things yes those things are nice some people have a reaction to them some people don't um but just being fresh that that on its own assists you with smelling good being fresh roll on body lotion you know just we need to now we babes we are just being clean being clean you don't have to do too much to be clean just be clean exfoliate if of course your skin doesn't have a reaction to um certain products make sure that you exfoliate at least um three times a week exfoliate ex exfoliate your body exfoliate your body we right we clean guys your heels pillar now now it's it's spring summer time we'll be wearing sandals open shoes make sure Uti little Appa is your best friend by your heels please ladies oh hot hair your feet please Nelite or with um those um foot thingies 
from Discam or from Clicks, you can get them there. So make sure that your heels are A1. You don't want to be seeing ashy heels and cracked heels this uh, spring and summer. Please, guys. And then with perfume, applying perfume, the best um, trick I can give you to applying perfume is putting a little Vaseline before and then you apply perfume behind your ear so that it lasts longer. So wherever you get your perfume, for it to last longer, put a little Vaseline or lotion, but Vaseline definitely, it works well. If I give Vaseline by um, the point where you're gonna apply your perfume and I'm telling you, that perfume will last, it will last the whole day. Is our last step. so we've come to the end of this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe subscribe to my channel and give it a big thumbs up let me know what you thought about this girl chat and if you'd like part two and if you would like what part two what you'd like me to talk about you know um please do engage let me know follow me on instagram i'll leave my handle down below and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video